contractors learned today how to build a house out of foam. Yes, foam. It might seem a little out there, but the company says this is the future. Steve Nielsen was there as contractors learned how different it is to build with foam and not wood. Steve. Yeah, guys, I mean, as Phoenix has boomed here over the last few decades, we've needed more and more homes, and most of them are like the ones in this neighborhood I'm in right now. They're built out of wood. But what if there was a company that says they could build it faster, cheaper, and more energy efficient? They're busy training. Multiple experienced general contractors are learning how to build a foam house. They learn how to cut it with a hot metal wire and stick it together with orange liquid foam. Haz Armani has been building traditional homes for decades, but now trains his crews on this. I'm now I'm trying to train the framer, wood framer, to frame the foam, and they really like it. The best part they, they like about it, it's safe and it's very light. Strata International is headquartered in Phoenix. Earlier this year, we showed you one of their homes being built with only foam in the valley. You have a product that can withstand tornadoes, earthquakes, um, natural disasters. Strata says their homes are faster to build, far more energy efficient, 10 to 40 percent cheaper, and tested up to 280 miles per hour winds. But with any new tech, it requires training. We want to make sure the quality control is up, and so we train the general contractors using our product to certify them. Chicago-based lender Federal Savings Bank was at the Tempe training site, too, to help iron out some of the complexities of foam lending. I think we're a little unique in the business that we've been super innovative over the last decade to really understand um, unique methods of construction like this that once again have a ton of value not only for general contractors but also for clients. Contractors train here from all over. This is contractors from all around the United States, sometimes international contractors. Uh, we've built in Japan, we've built in China, we've built in Dubai, in Mexico. All of them on the cutting edge of a disruptive technology they believe is the future.